to a new video. Um, as you can see, the sewing machine is out because it is the beginning of March and I have decided that March is going to be my month of indulging myself in the crafts that I've been wanting to make for a very long time. And so the very first craft we are going to be making is the topic of this video. And it is a giant, hopefully giant, uh, Appa plushie uh, or a Sky Bison plushie from um, Avatar The Last Airbender and Korra. I watched Korra for the first time last year and in season two there is a moment where Korra is holding this really large Sky Bison plush and ever since I watched it I screenshotted it when we were watching the show and ever since then I have wanted to make myself a big Sky Bison plushie because I couldn't find one that looked like the one in the show, like to buy online. So yeah, I thought I was going to have to uh, figure out a pattern all on my own, um, which would have been very difficult because I have never sewn a plushie before. I've only ever crocheted plushies, but it turns out Pinterest knows what I want <laughs> and so I managed to find a pattern for a Sky Bison plushie that pr looks pretty much exactly like the one in the show. I have printed out the pattern. I'll have the pattern and the blog post that I found this from linked down below. It was free which was really cool of the person. I don't think it should have been free. I think I should have paid for it. I'm glad that it's free. But yeah, I bought the fabric for the plush um, like four months ago or something. And we're finally around four months ago? Five months ago? A long time ago, last year. And so we're finally gonna get around to making it. So here's my pile of fabric. Hopefully by the end of this, hopefully by the end of today or tomorrow, we will have a plushie that it will be very cuddleable and cute and I'm super super excited. Okay. Yeah, so let's get started. Um, the first thing that I'm going to do is obviously tape and cut my pattern. So I will be right back. All of my pieces have been cut. There are little fluffy lint bits everywhere and it's kind of stressing me out. Um, but yeah, we can finally start sewing. I've been cutting for like two hours. <laughs> uh, and step one is to do all the appliques and I was trying to figure out what the best way to do it 
was, and I think the best way to do the appliques is to just sew them on by hand. So I guess that's what we're going to start with. And then hopefully the rest of it will come together fast because the hand sewing is definitely not going to be fast. But yeah, there are, there's one everywhere. Okay, I'm going to go get my embroider thread to start sewing on all the appliques. Hello friends, it is the next day now, um, sorry about the currently still drying hair, but I spent from about 5pm to 10pm last night, so all night, appliquing all of these um, appliques <laughs> onto the, um, the fabric. So I just whip stitched it down. Luckily, because this is like fuzzy minky fabric, it doesn't really fray. So I didn't have to worry about like the edges. So yeah, it took a long time. I watched a lot of, <laughs> I watched two streams and no, I started at four. From about 4 p.m. to 10 p.m. I was appliquing and I watched two streams and I watched um, I watched Moana and I started watching Avatar and now I feel like I should have started watching Avatar at the beginning of this project so I could tell you exactly how many episodes it took for me to actually make Appa but oh well it's too late now so yeah um, all of my appliques are done which means that I can just focus on actually putting Appa together today so yeah let's Let's begin. So, so far it's been pretty easy to put together. I uh, sewed the face panel onto the chin and then onto the forehead and then I sewed the darts in. Um, yeah, hasn't been too hard. The only thing that I was a little bit stressed about was um, how close the eye is to the top of the forehead because I actually messed up the placement of the eyes. They're supposed to be slightly lower. Um, but this fabric is so like soft that the felt started moving around when I was whip stitching it on. So it kind of moved up a little bit. Um, so I just adjusted the seam allowance a little bit. Um, luckily the pattern has a half inch seam allowance. So that's like really forgiving. Um, so I just adjusted it slightly, made it a little bit smaller. And then I think it's going to be fine. Um, Appa's bangs are probably just going to be like <laughs> really in his eyes, but that's fine. Um, so yeah, so the next step is to work on the, the bangs. So I guess we'll find out how it looks with, with the eyes. Um, but yeah, it's looking like a face, which is good. <laughs>
an update. I have finished pretty much with the face for now. Oh, that's not part of the face. Um, I made the ears. I had to remake the ears a couple times because I didn't mirror one of the ears. Oh, okay. I didn't mirror one of the ears and so it was uh, facing the wrong way. <laughs> so I had to remake the ears but that's fine and everything is basted on i basted the bangs onto the face and the ears onto the face and i did it by hand because um i'm not very good at basting with the machine but yeah and then i also did some not great top stitching uh i think my tension's a little off but it's fine and i did the darts in the belly and then the next step is to sew the belly onto the face and then like this i think oops like this and then it will be attached and then i guess something else happens i'm not sure yet but yeah we're making progress and it's going pretty quickly which is very nice I finished sewing all of the legs. They're so cute. Cute little fluffy legs. Um, and then now the next step is to stuff them lightly and then baste them to the body of of the appa. <laughs> um, so I'm going to work on doing that. And then this is coming together so quickly. The, uh, the, the applicating took, like, 20 million years, but the sewing bit is pretty fast, which is very nice. So, yeah. Okay, this doesn't look like much, but we are actually near the end of this sewing project because I finished constructing the back piece and I and the front piece. So now what I'm trying to do is sew them um, right sides together to make the edge and then I will turn it inside out from this tiny little hole here that I may need to widen. Um, 
but I am currently trying to stuff this into my sewing machine and it is it's hard so I'm gonna try it again but if it doesn't work I might just have to hand sew the whole thing which I don't love the idea of but <laughs> she do be thick it's because I got this really like fuzzy fabric for the fur but um yeah I will attempt again and then We'll see how it turns out. <laughs> so, update I ended up hand sewing him because um, I couldn't stuff him into my sewing machine but now he's all been stuffed and the last step is to make his like nose thing he has a muzzle and a nose that I need to sew on and then I also need to make his little horns and um, I'll just slip stitch those on by hand after I've sewn them but He's so cute and so squishy already. <laughs> I love him. Okay, I'm gonna finish him up and then um, you'll see the final the final sky bison. <laughs> It's finished. I finished. I finished. Um, so some thoughts on the project. Some closing thoughts. I think uh, overall, the project was really easy. Um, apart from the applique, which took a long time because I hand stitched it, um, it didn't take that long. I finished the whole project in less than a day, um, and that includes me ending up having to hand sew the entire like outside of the plushie together, like the two sides of the plushie, the front and the back together because it couldn't go through my machine. So yeah, overall, um, pretty easy project. Um, I think if you have a little bit of sewing experience, it wouldn't be too hard to make. Um, I thought the way that the horns were constructed was kind of funny because they're, they're made like separately and then you just kind of sew them on to the sides, but I think it would make more sense if I had made them in advance and then sewn them on like with the ears um, in the side seam. Um, apart from that, um, I had some issues with getting the belly to fit properly. So there's a little bit of like ruching here because it's not, the darts didn't fit exactly correctly. Um, that's probably my fault, not the pattern's fault. Um, pattern was really easy to follow. Again, I'll have the pattern link down below. Um, and the last thing I think that I don't love about it is that if you look at Appa from the side, his head is like really flat. <laughs> um, and I wish that I had known in advance because then I could build in some extra darts in the back of his head so then his head would be a little bit like it would be rounder, it would come out more. Um, oh, and then the other alteration I had to make was that, um, this is also probably my fault, but the darts at his head, um, were not, like, they didn't blend, I didn't blend them into the, to the rest of the 
selling very well so then it ended up looking like his head was like really boxy so I just <laughs> flipped him flipped his bangs up and then did some tiny little pinching darts here and now it like lies pretty flat so yeah overall I'm so happy with how it turned out I think it looks pretty much like the one in the um in, in Korra in the show where um, she's holding a, a Sky Bison plushie. So yeah, and um, he's very squishy and very cuddleable and I'm very happy. So yeah, uh, so um, I think I'm gonna wrap up this video now. I hope you like the project. I hope you try it out. Uh, I will have the fabric that I used also linked down below. I have to look up my fabric.com order, um, but I thought the fabric was really easy to work with. It is polyester because plushy fabric is almost always polyester, I think. Um, so that's not ideal for environmental issues, but I mean, I'm not getting rid of Appa anytime soon, so <laughs> I think he will be a hand-me-down um, to siblings and children in the future, so yeah. And um, yeah. So apart from that, I think that's it. Thank you so much for watching. Thank you so much for being part of my cozy little space on the internet. I'm so excited this month to just like chill and do whatever I want um, and make crafts that I don't usually make. Uh, so yeah, um, I love you all very much and I will see you next week. Bye friends. Bye.